Huh, a boiling hot pot. What a perfect representation of what's happening in the world. definitely has a long way to go when it comes to their uh, communal dining arrangements, but they have other things that they're preparing for, as of course, we just got the news from Xi Jinping himself, dressed in full military fatigues, that China is preparing for battle. You heard that correctly, as there are a lot of crazy geopolitical developments happening right now. Not just regarding Taiwan, which of course the Chinese military recently surrounded in record numbers with their forces, as what's happening right now, especially with the larger potential of an October surprise still to come, as we have already had a lot of them, we're probably going to have a lot more, is something that I think we should be paying close attention to right now, as of course it has a lot of bigger global geopolitical implications that of course will affect your life in more ways than one. As of course, after the record number of Chinese warplanes that flew close to Taiwan during their military drills and exercises that were, you know, just simulating the invasion of Taiwan, the communist leader Xi Jinping also dressed up in full military fatigues and addressed his country and his military to literally prepare for war as they are now intensifying their military and battle drills around Taiwan. As Xi Jinping specifically made those comments to the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, which he personally visited this Thursday, as the address also ran on state-run broadcast television, as he talked about the very important interest of the Chinese government and military to, quote, enhance their strategic deterrent and combat capabilities. As China has, of course, has claimed that Taiwan is actually their territory and definitely have been representing a show of force around the island in the last few years in an ever so more aggressive fashion during the Biden administration, which geopolitically and internationally is seen as a very weak administration. As Beijing deployed fighter jets, drones, warships, their Coast Guard vessels that encircled Taiwan within the last few days, representing the fourth round of large-scale military war games around the island within just the last two years. As the Chinese state that even has the grips of control on Hollywood has celebrities groveling and apologizing for even acknowledging that Taiwan exists. As John Cena previously came out and apologized for addressing Taiwan as a country. Your eager um, I Hollywood ho ho for China China money money go I saw somewhere. <laughs> oh God, that's absolutely pathetic. And uh, let, let's be honest with the way that 2024 has been going, especially with the ever unsure geopolitical situation within the Biden administration. This definitely does a signal some uh, larger troubling developments that, uh, uh, of course, could have a role in our political system, as this could be yet another geopolitical conundrum that we have to deal with that is extremely complicated and, of course, will have a very vast, severe impact on our economy that is dependent on Chinese manufacturing. As we are just 17 days away from November 5th, and between now and that time period, anything and everything could happen. As, of course, a larger change in Washington, D.C. could signal different situations for countries that they might want to take advantage of right now. As in between now and then, anything and everything could happen, specifically when it comes to cyber attacks, larger kind of conflicts and wars, black swan events, crises, false flag attacks, power grids going down, as there's going to be some probable operations being run here, as let's be honest here, the Biden administration and their close ties to a lot of Chinese government officials and government businesses, especially with Hunter Biden, do highlight how essentially the Biden administration has been doing a lot of the bidding for the Chinese when, when we see what they did, especially in Brazil allowing a more favorable Chinese-style government to be implemented over a more right-wing populist 
American-centered government, you see the United States government literally get involved in elections in foreign countries that directly help out China and not the American country or its economy. Now, you look at what happened last week with uh, North Korea blowing up their own bridges, railways, specifically connecting them to South Korea. You look at the reports coming in from Ukraine, specifically highlighting how there are now allegedly North Koreans fighting alongside the Russians here. These are larger developments that the French government has come out and sent warnings about, as it's uh, very interesting to note here that it was just a few weeks ago that the French government specifically came out and said that they are considering sending their own soldiers on the ground here. But it looks like Vladimir Putin has, of course, made and brokered a deal with, with North Korea. That, of course, changes the game here, significantly escalating it, because if we see things from a historical context, we've seen this one before. Oh, yeah, there's a small skirmish. There's a local conflict here between these larger conflicts. Oh, they get alliances with other countries, and other countries are now fighting in this conflict, making them strategic tar targets. The conflict, of course, expands to those specific territories, and bada-bing, bada-boom. Oh, we got ourselves a, a global conflict here. As the Lithuanian Minister of Foreign Affairs just recently came out and said at the beginning of the year, Emmanuel Macron hinted at putting boots on the ground. At the end of the year, North Korea actually did it. We are still at the back foot reacting to escalations instead of reversing it. Macron's ideas should now be revisited better later than never. As he went on and then specifically detailed how China's interests are very aligned with Russia, as American foreign policy has pushed the two countries together that have been historically opposed to each other. As there's a lot of bad blood between the Chinese and the Russians and their empires and their long kind of contentious history that saw them at odds with each other competing for resources and territory. Now, the two countries, along with other BRICS nations that are directly being centered and attacked by the United States and their sanctions and their foreign policy are all kind of coalescing, coming together and now raising some larger questions about the U.S. petrodollar and U.S. hegemony. As the Lithuanian foreign minister is suggesting that China is playing a big key role here and, of course, could potentially expand these conflicts for their own strategic opportunity that they could take advantage of. As, of course, this could be why China is readying up its troops and its forces, as a lot of what's happening right now geopolitically is all kind of intertwined in some very weird, complex ways that we hope to, of course, make sense of. As, of course, if China makes their larger kind of move here, specifically against Taiwan, this implicates large factions of the U.S. economy that is dependent on China, as, of course, a lot of our pharmaceuticals, a lot of our... our things that we are dependent on every single day directly comes from China. And if that pipeline would have been cut off automatically, America not having a big manufacturing base would be kind of isolated and screwed over, especially during very serious situations where the two would be at odds with each other, potentially influencing and supporting the opposite sides of other proxy conflicts. As that situation is already unfolding and Donald Trump a man who has been one of the few presidents of the United States that has actually called out China for their larger kind of geopolitical international trade, according to the Wall Street Journal, will, quote, radically remake world trade as he is promising tariffs that could see the rise to the highest level since the 1930s. Now, personally, I'm not for tariffs, but Donald Trump is making the argument that American products can't be in these markets because of tariffs that other countries put on these goods. So I'm going to do the same while also incentivizing domestic consumer bases to, of course, create the products here in the United States. A policy that is kind of a, an America first policy, as the Wall Street Journal argues that this U.S.-led system against China could result in a global trade war. As I would argue, the Biden administration is already putting us on the precipice of an actual war. As Trump has come out and said that China will respect him because she knows he is crazy. Uh, very interesting uh, comments there. And uh, I don't know if that might be the, the best policy to implement, especially when uh, so many lives and so many things are on the line here. But uh, I, I bet certainly it would be a lot better of a policy 
than the Biden administration's policy that colludes with Chinese businesses and government officials and has done a lot of very kind of shady moves that directly benefit them and uh, do not help the American public. As Donald Trump is saying that he would impose tariffs on China if they sought to blockade Taiwan, saying that he's going to tax them 150% to 200%, as Trump also described Xi as a, quote, fierce person. He also described Putin as someone that he got along with. And uh, whatever you might think about Donald Trump, his uh, actions do seem a little bit more proactive than the Biden administration that... Uh, respectfully is dealing with a situation that's escalating a lot of these tensions around the world. Now, either way uh, you kind of look at it, there definitely does seem like there are larger kind of financial instabilities that are going to be happening in this country, not just with international trade, but also with the future of the U.S. petrodollar as uh, BRICS nations are coming together and buying up a lot of gold. All of this as there are some BRICS nations that are calling for the end of the U.S. dollar dominance, which of course would have significant ramifications on the purchasing power of your dollar in your pocket right now as of course the u.s government already is printing a lot of it spending a lot of it we're in, we're in a deficit we're in a huge debt and the only real reason why the dollar is as powerful as it is is because everyone uses it if a lot of people stop using it this does signal some bigger problems ahead of us now china pr has been implementing a very kind of uh, interesting international policy where they promote more trade and more kind of infrastructure building especially in developing nations that they get control of their resources in exchange for that does kind of promote this larger belt and road initiative that has expanded trade to uh, a lot of russia to also a lot of ukraine to a lot of africa to a lot of iran as uh, the Chinese are doing a lot of international business, they're, they're gobbling up a lot of very important natural resources. They're getting control of a lot of important pieces of infrastructure around the world. As this other larger global instability could create a situation for them that they could personally take advantage of, especially the current situation unfolding right now in the Middle East, that could be more kind of beneficial to them and their larger kind of geopolitical objectives as of course there are now pro-iranian accounts that have allegedly leaked the u.s intelligence on the israeli retaliation against them that a lot of people expect to happen very soon another major escalation to keep an eye out on as I would also say, the situation in Ukraine is also very unstable as there should be larger retaliatory efforts seen there very soon as well. The Koreans now being involved changes the landscape of this geopolitical conflict that is therefore getting more complicated and uh, bringing us closer to the precipice of uh, a global international world war. So as that happens, make sure to take care of your health so you're ready for anything and everything coming your way. And one of the best ways to do that is through, of course, wearechange.shop. Uh, we have a lot of great products available to you. We have another one down here, all on wearechange.shop. If you click on uh, Mr. Klaus Schwab over here, you get another uh, really great product that is uh, really awesome and really good for you. Check out our ultimate bundle, as of course we have a lot of really needed important nutrients out there for you that uh, sadly a lot of our food is having less of. Magnesium is also a very key component for a, a lot of metabolic function that uh, sadly is becoming less available in a lot of people. A lot of people are deficient in it. A lot of people who drink a lot of coffee, have a lot of stress, have very low magnesium levels. It has helped some people deal with anxiety. It has helped some people deal with, of course, not being able to sleep. So uh, check out Magnesium Glycinate. It's a really great product that I can't recommend enough. Something that I personally use, something that's, of course, on my table. And, uh, you know, we, we, we talk to talk, we walk to walk. And uh, these are some uh, really great pills, really great products that you can get exclusively only on wearechange.shop. And of course, we have them. It's kind of littered all around. We got them right there. We got them right here. We got them behind me. And uh, you also support us by supporting yourself and your own independent health journey. So it's a win win for everyone. Check out wearechange.shop right now and uh, get directly involved when it comes to taking your own health into your own hands. Of course, always talk to a medical professional before taking in anything into your body. Everybody's unique, everyone's different. I always tell people get tested, get your blood drawn, make sure you know what is right for you. Make sure what, what makes you run optimally as a human being and then start to implement that because there's an absolute war on your health. Decide to stand up for yourself and fight back right now 
just by going to wearechange.shop. Again, uh, very interesting situation. Personally, I, I, I did a video where I said, hey, how do you prepare for all this? A couple of months ago on, on lukeunfiltered.com. And uh, one of the things that I said is just, just being of sound mind and body, taking care of yourself, working out, prioritizing sleep, getting rid of stress, making sure you have the right nutrients in your body to, of course, become as strong as you can because there are very hard times ahead of us. So prepare accordingly. I love you guys. Appreciate the beautiful moments you have in your life right now. Things could get crazy at any moment, at any time. Look at history. It's always slow escalation, slow escalation. It's extremely fast escalation. I don't think a lot of people realize the absolute mess we're in and just how severely complicated and dangerous it is for everyone. So uh, stay smart, stay prepared, and uh, take care of yourself as best as you can. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on YouTube.com forward slash We Are Change.